Good morning, YouTube. It's been a really long time since you guys see my face. But here we are, August 8th, 2020. <clears throat> Let me give you my spiel <laughs> since I'm out here doing my walk. Um, my name is Maria. I topped out at 400 pounds. I've lost 125 pounds on my own. August 7th, 2017, at 275, 71 pounds, I underwent vertical sleeve gastrectomy at Wellstar Medical Center in LaGrange, Georgia, under the care of Dr. Wesley Turton. My lowest weight to date was 171, 175 pounds, <clears throat> and I'm currently 189 pounds. I will be 42 in October, and we're out here with the coronavirus pandemic. Um, to catch you guys up, I did the, the Prove It reboot. That got me down to my low 190s, 195 weight from the, I think it was 20 something almost last time when I came on. And I've maintained in the low 190s. Last, the week before last, my cycle came on and I got back up to 199. I did an egg fast last week, got my weight back down to the lowest 191. Today, it's day 26 of the 75 hard challenge. Yes, I decided to do the 75 hard challenge. I started the challenge 26 days ago at 195 pounds, but even though I'm 189 pounds and it's 26 days in, that's not why I'm doing the 75 hard challenge. I'm doing a 75 hard challenge for the mental toughness part of it because my mental health has been back and forth as many of us have been going through through this whole pandemic and lockdown and feeling like this is not the new norm but the new norm type of situation. But uh, I have to do Two 45-minute workouts a day. One has to be outside. Hello. The second one either can be outside again or inside. I have to drink a gallon of water, which I'll start when I get home. Because I bought one of those gallon jugs off of Amazon that goes from 7 in the morning to like 9, 10 o'clock at night. And here it is. It's going to be 8 o'clock. And I just got dressed, got, you know, jumped up out of bed, got dressed, and left the house. I think I just work out in because I have to go to work today at 10 a.m. to about 6 or 8 o'clock. Then when I get home, I'll go ahead and I'll do my second workout of the day. So you have to space them out. Um, I have to stick to a diet, which I've chosen keto. I've been sticking to keto. I've been checking my ketones. I had a ketone reading of 1.1 yesterday. And that gave me my weight loss. Um, for the month of August, along with keto, I'm joining Nicole Burgess' challenge of dairy-free keto all month for August. So I'm still sticking to my diet. I'm just tweaking it to see if maybe dairy is actually affecting me. Because y'all know, been know me for a while. I'm a rat. Okay, I love the cheese. Can't stand the ice cream, but I eat the cheese. So I meal prepped some salmon, some asparagus. I meal prepped some dairy free pesto chicken. I went to Natural Grocers and was able to get some dairy free pesto. Um, I've ordered some stuff from Perfect Keto, the cookie box, the cookies. The nut butters, some, some of the nut butters I can have, some of them I can't because <clears throat> some of them do contain some type of dairy, which is 
the whey protein. I use the collagen and the MCT oil in my coffee. Um, so I use some of Perfect Keto products that don't have dairy in it. I will be ordering next week some protein powder from Equip because they're dairy-free protein. Because I do have the IsoPure. Good morning. Howdy. But the more the IsoPure is a whey protein, so that has dairy in it. So I need a dairy-free, plant-based protein. And pretty much from what I've been told that all the Equip products are dairy free. So I've been strictly dairy free all week for the first week and a half of August, every single day. And uh, I feel good. Um, my body's exhausted from the challenge because doing the two workouts Plus my job, since I'm no longer on workers' comp, I'm back to doing my physical job. So it's a little bit exhausting. So some of my workouts are yoga, you know, things like that. But let me break down a list of a 75 hard challenge. Sticking to a diet, which I told you, keto. No cheats, no alcohol, no sweets. So I'm keeping that. Um... The two 45-minute workouts a day, which I'm doing. The gallon a day, which I'm doing. A progress photo every single day, pretty much just for your own personal reference, I guess, so you can see how your body's changing. So, and um, 10 pages of a motivational self-improvement non-fiction type book. My first book that pretty much put me in the right setting was Self-Compassion. Also, I have the two books by Mark Manson, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, and the other one. That's the book that I'm on now. I just got into chapter four. So I went and bought those two books at Barnes & Noble's. So I'm reading 10 pages a day, getting my gallon, doing my two workouts, sticking to keto, no cheats, no alcohol, and we're 26 days in. Now, I decided to do this, like I said, for the mental clarity, and also to give me another challenge to have to look forward to because of my um, cruise that was coming up and uh October, which we finally got an email yesterday saying that our cruise is canceled. All cruises are canceled through October 31st. And so I texted my travel agent to confirm that I got an email straight from Carnival, not from her. And I've been checking the calendars and YouTube and everything like that. So we're going to have to change things up for my birthday. Yeah, I'm pissed because, hey, it's a cruise. I gotta look forward to a fucking refund and figure out what I'm gonna do because that time is already requested off. Now, I'm not gonna let my job know because, bitch, I'm going to go somewhere. I have the paid time off and I'm out, okay? I have my hotel reservation for Galveston. I'll just make it for the week instead of the day. I already have my car rental for the week. That's already taken care of. So I just need to update the hotel stay for that entire week rather than just the one night because we were just going to go drop the, the car off at the hotel, leave it at the hotel, jump on a cruise, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not going to let it be a total loss. I'm going to see what happens. If we don't go to Galveston, we'll go somewhere, do something. But the reservations are already made. They're already set. Whether I keep the hotel, just keep the rental car, and me and my husband just drive off into the sunset some damn well for that week. His birthday celebration was ruined for COVID to go to California for the first time for both of us for his birthday back in June. And now my cruise is being canceled. 
So, it is what it is, you know. But, that's my update. One day 26 to 75 hard. I finally hit back into the 180s. Um, just taking it one day at a time. I'm still working. Work in healthcare, so I'm still working. Um, I might be embarking on a new adventure, though. I got a call back from a company I had applied for months and months ago for a traveling CNA um, here for the state of Colorado to where I'll be going to Lakewood, Colorado, making 20 bucks an hour, 12 hour shifts. They'll give me a stipend for travel and a stipend for housing. So I just have to turn in my TB test, my CPR card, my flu shot, and my social security card, which I'll email them that today and get the ball rolling because they've already called my references. So, but I just wanted to make sure before I took this shot that I had money in my pocket as a step ahead, if that makes any sense. So, it's a 13 week contract and it's weekly pay. So, that's good because that'll be like five, seven, yeah, it'll be like five or more, almost five, six bucks more an hour than what I'm making right now. But it's the fact that I'm gonna be in another place learning new experiences, traveling, seeing the area. You know, that's why. If it wasn't Lakewood, Colorado, it would have been up in the mountains in Estes Park, which is like smack dab in the middle of the Rockies. So, two and a half hours from home compared to six hours from home. As long as it's 80 miles from home, I'll get paid to travel. So, that's what we're doing. That's my update. Hope you guys enjoyed walking with me. And I'll check in with y'all later. So, 75 hard. Dairy-free keto for the month. Getting shit done. Peace.